Hello everyone, Maurice Singh here. Welcome to Tanks Invest, where we're going to be talking about investing, finance, and professional development. For today's videos, for entertainment purposes only, the stock that we're going to talk about today would be NIO, ticker NIO. So I'm going to go be going through my technical analysis based on some of the collective updates that we've been observing so far, both on the macroeconomical side and microeconomical side. So I'm going to give you guys my optimal price level to get into the stock if you're interested in buying the stock. And also my year-end price target uh, that we should be expecting for NEO as well. So stay tuned, stick around, and let's make some money. Alright, so let's get right into it, shall we? So looking at the daily chart for NEO right now, uh, just historically speaking, you see that ever since in Q3 and Q4, we rallied away all the way up to the $67 level, consolidated, and that's huge sell-off that we had in Q1 and Q2 so far, right? And this was, again, driven by both the shortage of chips, um, of computer chips across the world, also because of the, you know, just the liquidation time period, you know, for a lot of people taking profits from you know, last year gains, you know, Q3, Q4 was a massive gain, right? Uh, so people were taking profits. And also on top of that, you know, Q1 and Q2 um, is tax season, right? And I know that in the U.S., they have postponed the tax uh, payout uh, to be uh, May 17th of this year. So people liquidated the dollars, you know, basically parked that into paying for tax and on top of that you know there has been a lot of discussions with respect to the biden administrations for a lot of the tax uh, adjustments you know for both the corporate tax for the capital gains tax which as you know is going to be increased dramatically across the board which should subsequently hinder the you know profitability across corporations and companies so right now we've been selling off significantly and uh, ever since the you know the time period of, of uh, March 08 uh, 2021 uh, you could see that we hit that bottom at one point because of the um, the the Jerome Powell speech that happened that day with respect to some of the economical outlook for the monetary policies and also with some of the inflation scares that's been going on as well coming from the Federal Reserve and Jerome speech that we hit that bottom at one point at thirty one ninety one and then we bounced back up with this uh, dead cat bounce if you may and subsequently bounced back down again forming a secondary resistance level but if you look at it again you can see that that's one resistance level that was formed from back in the day in november second resistance level that we formed here again at 3191 and then another one right here on um basically end of march this year uh, some or somewhere around april and then forming another one right here on april 16th um, and rally back up with this uh, whole CPI report that came out earlier in the month. Uh, and so we've been just basically consolidated sideways right now, um, you know, ever since uh, for the last, you know, one, two months so far, uh, or like 60 days so far. So right now, uh, the bottom is really formed in a very, very con uh, uh, a strong level at the bottom of uh, about like $34. So where I see this stock going is um, we have rallied up because of the uh, sector rotations that we saw from more of the recovery stocks to the, the growth stocks that happened earlier in this month that subsequently drove up the stock. Uh, you know, we saw across the board, I believe, on the day of uh, the April 16th all the way to um, April 27th, uh, the end of uh, basically of April. We rally sub significantly because of the rotation that happened with growth stocks and also because of the uh, CPI report that we got in mid-April. And subsequently, we're selling off because of the, um, the speech that we heard from Jerome Powell with respect to inflations, uh, with respect to tax uh, adjustments that we heard also heard from Biden as well. And also another rotation that happened again uh, because of some of the outlooks that we see from the vaccine pro progressions that we've been getting. Also with respect to uh, just fund managers, uh, you know, rotating their the stocks, you know, back and forth from recovery stocks and also putting into uh, large cap stocks and then shifting into high growth stocks. And we've been seeing some sort of a rotation like left and right here and there and also on top of the biden's tax adjustments it's been kind of making this like a sideway loop uh that's been happening uh for the last couple of months so far 
right? So right now, the resistance level extremely strong at the $34 level. What I see is going, um, so tomorrow, uh, so today is May 5th, and I foresee us to be, cons can, you know, continue to consolidate going forward, right? And I think we will be hearing from uh, the CPI report coming out in mid-May. And I, th I foresee us to have some more of a sell-off because the tax due date is basically May 17th. Um, that we will, you know, first, you know, continue to see some sort of a down, downside, you know, knowing the fact that, you know, we do have some sort of, a, you know, negative short term catalyst that we should be expecting that we will keep, we will go down to the $34 level of test again, or, uh, you know, which is a level that we need to look at. And just looking at the chart down here, you can see that the RSI, we highly oversold. On the Mac on a daily perspective, we are slowly crossing, but more of a downward trend because you can see that the yellow line, which is the MACD, is uh, crossing downward to the signal line, which is indicating that there's more sell-off coming. Uh, so I think if you were to think about this buying a long-term perspective, you know, NEO definitely has a lot of good long-term growth potential with respect to the growth that we're seeing, you know, with these expansions in European nation, you know, Norway. Uh, having their first uh, debut, debut of the showroom that's coming in May. Also, with respect to the auto show, it was a great uh, outcome, great media coverage, great media presence. And also with respect just on the technical side, we see great bottoms here, right? So my prediction for the you know the short term level is we're gonna consider go go down a little bit, and then uh, we're gonna hit the bottom sometimes around mid May. And then bounces resistance level, and this would be like the fifth time that we're bouncing off, and then we will rally up from there. Uh, sometimes around summer or June or July time period, right? Um, just taking a look at that on an hourly chart. Same thing, highly oversold with respect to RSI. Uh, the MACD is actually crossing, so in the short term we might see some sort of um, a rebound tomorrow, knowing the fact that we've been. You know, just selling off quite significantly, right? In the last couple of days, you could see that, you know, for the last couple of days, we've been selling off ever since. It's been a downward slope. Uh, so we might see some sort of a, you know, slow rebound. But I do foresee us testing again, right, on the daily chart again, testing this $35 level uh, and then rebound back from there. Um, so also checking on the five hour chart as well, same thing, very highly oversold, is more crossing. So as you see more on the lower time interval, uh, it's uh, definitely more bullish. So definitely see more of a uptrend um, in the near couple of days. If you think about like swing trading on a daily basis, like a daily trader. Uh, but long term wise, I, I do see, you know, um, in the next couple of weeks uh, to have some sort of a downfall and retesting that again and then bounce backward. Just taking a look at the tip ranks real quick, you can see that um, across the board with all the analysts, we do have 10 analyst ratings so far, seven by three holds, and the average across the board is about $60, uh, which is uh, gonna give you a $60 upside from here if you're buying it now, uh, which I foresee that to be highly likely, basically retesting all time high again. Um, and all time high that they're thinking about in the next 12 months would be $81, which is going to be about like 80% upside from here. And on terms of, in terms of the low, I think right now uh, we are basically below the low bottom levels that the analysts are projecting in the next 12 months. So buying it right now would be a very, very safe cushion level um, if you want a dollar cost average and also think about this in a long term perspective uh, as an equity investor. So. I, t I personally feel very comfortable um, and looking at just the institutional institutional ownership across the board, you can see that, you know, ever since the whole sell off that we've been getting the last week and a half, ever since the auto show and the whole Biden speech and, you know, Jerome Powell speech, you know, with all that media coverage that's been just kind of negative affectation so far, you see that a lot of the fund managers has been just buying aggressively across the board, right? Just look at the... You know, on a daily basis, looking on as of May 5th, which is basically today, you see that they've been buying significantly across the board. Several different managers bought in, you know, in co combination close to $10 million. Um, and also you can see Commonwealth uh, basically yesterday bought close to 
half a million shares, um, you know, of nineteen million dollars just injections there, right? And you can see that this is not just, uh, you know, in they they're not buying this like every nowadays. They're buying this every single day, which shows how bullish they are, and which shows how much of a uh, institutional uh, acceptance that Neil has as a strong business value proposition and also a long-term investment holding that uh, we as investors should adopt their their mindset and mytholo mythology as well. Um, so definitely great signal across the board. You know, they've been buying every single day, you know, for the last weeks and months and, you know, ever since, you know, the last point right here as of February. So you can see that they are buying significantly, not small shares. Just like take a look, Noge Bank bought 14 uh, thirteen point six million shares. You know that's just a lot of uh, institutional uh, appetite uh, for this stock. And now let, let's look at my last point right here. I think based on just the recap and uh, and the technical charts that we talked about, I think right now if you think about this in the long term, twelve months horizon, thirty seven seventy five is definitely a good price point. 3650 is another resistance level that we saw, you know, basically around that 35, 36 level is a great resistance level. Um, and if we get down to 3450, which I, you know, has we have been testing that, you know, quite strongly uh, for four or five times now historically, right? Just in the recent time, we tested like three, four times. And every time we crash, we bounce back immediately with great green candle right away that um, I feel very comfortable and I would totally just load up or sell even part of my Tesla position to to fund this. Um, and with respect to if you're buying now at 37.75, that would give you a, a huge upside with my price target of, 20, of 2021 of $85, which will give you 125% upside or two point three times your money, which is a, a very good substantial return uh, for us uh, equity investors. All right, so that's it for NEO, uh, ticker NIO today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the technical analysis and some of my insights that I uh, provided for you guys. Uh, please feel free to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and also the notification bell as well. I, I've been uh, slacking off a little bit, uh, so I apologize for that. It's because I've been uh, feeling kind of, you know, kind of sick lately. Um, not not COVID, but just a little bit uh, under the weather. Um, so, but I'm gonna try to get back into the game a little bit more. And I really, again, show you know appreciate the support you guys been showing to me. Um, really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and stay tuned for the next coming videos.